Hello and welcome to another edition of National Focus. I'm Pearl Fontaine. Topping the headlines, Agence Foisse de Développement to fund 15 megawatt geothermal plant. Dominica's national gender policy up for review and High Commissioner of India to Dominica bids farewell. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others right after the break. The facts as they are brought to you every day, every day, every day, every day. only on GIS Channel 7. Welcome back. The Agence Foisse de Développement is prepared to finance the construction of a 15 megawatt geothermal plant in Dominica. This was confirmed by Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt during a press conference on Tuesday. The Dominica leader recently led a delegation to France where talks were held with French officials about its support for Dominica's geothermal energy pursuits. Prime Minister Skerritt told reporters on Tuesday that the meeting yielded positive results for the Dominican delegation. AFD has said to us very clearly that they are prepared to finance the construction of the 15 megawatt plant in Dominica of course, subject to a formal request by the government of Dominica for the financing. So what we'll be doing in Dominica is to continue our discussions with a particular partner that we've been discussing to see if they would enter into discussions, um, agreement for us to uh, continue having the small plant jointly, or if it means that the government may have to own the plant and allow a company to manage it on behalf of the taxpayers of the country. Now, as to how much of this total um, amount will be way of grants and loan is a matter for further discussions and negotiations with the AFD. But suffice it to say that they have indicated that they are prepared to finance the construction of the 50 megawatt plant in Dominica for domestic consumption. The French government has also expressed interest in supporting government's plans to construct a 120 megawatt plant. The French government is certainly keen on purchasing the energy from Dominica. So they, they will purchase energy from Dominica. The French want to play a very critical role in the construction, the management, and the financing of the bigger plant. There are French companies who are in discussions with the French government about their involvement in this uh, bigger plant, this 120 megawatt plant in Dominica. And EDF, the French government has indicated that EDF will certainly be, be, be buying the energy from Dominica uh, once we are at that particular stage. The French government has also given a commitment to provide technical assistance towards the successful development of Dominica's geothermal project. In the French, the AFD has agreed to provide us with technical assistance by way of paying for a legal expert to further review the um, geothermal bill and also will be, they will be drafting the um, the regulations uh, for this piece of legislation. And additionally, the AFD has been able to negotiate on, on our behalf um, with the European Union for an amount of over 1.1 or so million euros that would go towards providing technical assistance to Dominica with the creation of a project development unit so we're moving from a project management unit on a geothermal project to a project development unit um, to deal with the development of the actual plants. And that technical assistance will, will be for a period of about 60 uh, months, or five years. 
The Roosevelt Skerritt administration has already spent millions in its geothermal exploration and drilling efforts. One of the main objectives is to reduce the cost of electricity. The cost of electricity in Dominica is too high. And when each one of us looks at our light bills, um, it is very difficult for people to survive um, having other expenses with the high cost of electricity bills in Dominica. I'm talking about domestic consumption and also um, in the private sector. You have situations where um, in the hotel, for example, where you, ha you must have your air conditioned units on every day, um, there is a high consumption of, of energy at, at those establishments. It, it is going to pose an additional challenge for these um, properties to, to really um, realize the, the kind of profits that they would. The Dominica leader has called for support for Dominica's geothermal energy project. The question is, if not geothermal, then what? What is the alternative to fossil fuel? What is the alternative to the high um, electricity bills that our people have to pay? The government has a, a proposal. Um, the government has a plan to address that. And my hope and prayer is that uh, all of us in Dominica, we may have different views, we may not necessarily support it totally. We have views, we have to express what the concerns are and let us find um, sensible responses towards addressing the concerns what, which um, some citizens may have, legitimately or otherwise. High Commissioner of India to Dominica, His Excellency Sri Mali Mishra bade farewell to the country at a press conference held on Wednesday at the Financial Center. The High Commissioner, who is currently based in Trinidad, has served Dominica for four years, having officially presented his credentials in 2009. According to the High Commissioner, India-Dominica relations have grown throughout his tenure, bearing fruit in what he identified as priority areas of attention agriculture, information technology, capacity building, health care and culture. His Excellency Mishra highlighted the developments made in the agriculture sector in providing one of the country's primary sources of revenue with expertise to facilitate its advancement. In the past during my term itself we, uh, we brought an expert from India. Uh, 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 expert who, who worked in the banana sector primarily and uh, the work that he did was uh, very good but it was not adequate and thereafter we got uh, some more requests from the government of Dominica to bring some more experts in this domain. Just a little while ago I was sitting with the Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Matthew, and we were discussing the modalities of bringing more experts uh, and uh, we are going to do that. We are going to engage ourselves in bringing more expertise uh, and uh, helping not only in the um, banana sector but in terms of agro-processing and in small sectors as well. The High Commissioner also admits that the relationship has built a platform for cultural exchanges between the two nations. He noted the positive reception of a cultural group from India in May last year which has led to requests for education in Indian indigenous dances and musical instruments. Throughout his experience, High Commissioner Mishra says he has observed Dominica's great potential. He hopes that the government will continue to make progress in taking advantage of Dominica's capacity for development. Dominica has a lot of potential. Um, sometimes these potential are not uh, properly um, exploited for various factors. Um, for example, IT. Uh, we can do a lot of work in IT. Um, agriculture, we can do a lot of work in agriculture. Tourism, there are a lot of work which could be done in tourism. I think for the size of the, of the island and the size of the economy, you hold much more potential. And if they are developed properly, I think there is no holding back. You could really uh, work your, your space within OECAs and other regional groupings quite well, quite advanced. And uh, I'm sure the government is also um, working out ways and means. I believe now they have a national export strategy. They have uh, identified a few niche areas in which they are going to put their uh, maximum priorities on that. And I hope that uh, over a period of time we'll see results. While the High Commissioner was unable to disclose any information concerning his successor, he pledged his country's continued support to Dominica. 
We'll bring you more from this press conference in another newscast. Consultations will continue this week ahead of the 2013-2014 budget presentation. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt told reporters on Tuesday that discussions will be held on Thursday with representatives of trade unions and private sector organizations. This Thursday, we'll be holding discussions with all the unions on Thursday morning and also all the, um, the, the private sector entities and also individuals. Um, we'll be discussing them on Thursday afternoon. Um, we've invited the representatives of, of all the associations, the um, DIC, DHTA, and Employers Federation, individual um, um, investors, um, both local and foreign, were present here. We've been in discussions with larger employers um, bilaterally over a period of time. So the, the, the consultation is continuing. The Prime Minister spoke of his expectations of Thursday's meeting. My hope and prayer is that we can um, have constructive uh, discussions. Uh, people have to understand that the budget is a 12-month budget and not, not a 10-year budget. <laughs> um, so it's, it's 12 months. And um, it's important that when people make suggestions, that they can also advise the government about the source of financing for that. Because it is easy to say, well, do this or to do that. But um, we have to, these days, you know, I, I don't believe that any politician or any political party or any government can um, tell people, well, we're going to do this project and, these, and those things and so forth without identifying the source of financing. The government of Dominica is in the process of updating the country's national policy and action plan for gender equity and equality. The Bureau of Gender Affairs is facilitating this review and held a session on Tuesday morning at the Fortune Hotel. Honorable Gloria Schillingford, Minister for Gender Affairs, addressed the gathering, stating that although the policy has progressed since its approval by Cabinet in 2006, societal changes require adjustments to the policy. It provides a framework for promoting equality between men and women to advance national development. One would appreciate, however, that over a period of more than six years since Cabinet's approval of the policy, there have been many changes in the trends and in the overall situation as it relates to gender in Dominica and, in fact, globally. The Ministry of Social Services, Community Development and Gender Affairs, through the Bureau of Gender Affairs, recognized the need for the updating of the policy with a view to accelerating its implementation. Honorable Schillingford went on to explain the primary objectives for an upgrade in this plan. The main aim of this updating exercise is to ensure that the policy takes on board recent developments at the national level. Current data, information and analysis, for example, the 2011 population census, and new and emerging gender equality issues in the society. According to Honorable Schillingford, in order to confront these new developments in society as it relates to gender issues, government has contracted international gender specialist Dr. Rawida Baksh to aid in this venture. Dr. Baksh has been visiting Dominica periodically since March 2013 to pursue work on this assignment. During this time, she has conducted a series of public awareness consultations on the national gender policy at the national and district levels with a wide range of stakeholders, including the public sector, private sector, labor, civil society, non-governmental community-based organizations, and faith-based organizations. The minister also informed that the policy is being upgraded against the setting of regional and international mandates, such as the United Nations Convention, the Commonwealth Plan of Action for Gender Equality, as well as the CARICOM Plan of Action for Gender Equality. Rosie Brown, a director of the Bureau of Gender Affairs, said that she was optimistic about the approval 
of the reviewed policy by cabinet. Let me say that the policy that is there, as I said, there are still areas still to be implemented and so it has been approved. But what we hope to do is to present again what we would call an updated version of the policy that will make it more relevant. And I, 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 even for that reason, the fact that we want to make it more relevant to our society would be good reason for cabinet to approve it. The upgraded action plan will provide support for organizations and agencies dealing with development and gender issues while keeping with international obligations. In other news, graduating students of the Dominica Grammar School received their high school diplomas on Monday. Kadisha St. Louis has that report. As one door closes, another one opens. And on Monday, 92 students of the Dominica Grammar School shut the doors of high school and opened the doors of higher education. This year's theme of the graduation ceremony was, Don't look back, you're not going that way. During the ceremony, Minister for Education and Human Resource Development, the Honorable Peter Seja, warned the graduates against the making light of their accomplishments. The minister stated that as there are many obstacles which seek to hinder the path of young people in Dominica, the students should be proud of how far they have come. If you pledge to work hard and take advantage of opportunities available to you based on the theme that you have chosen, I am convinced that every one of you can indeed achieve success. The minister pointed out to students that they have been given a sound education to help shape them into the people that they are becoming. He urged them not to forget their past, but to learn and grow from it. It is often said, to whom much is given, much is expected. Graduates, you have received a sound education at your alma mater, which has helped to shape you into the people that you are today. Do not forget your roots. Do not compromise your standards. Indeed, I implore you to allow your past to shape you, to shape the person that you will become in the future. By all means, I urge you to ensure that we can later refer to you as a true Dominican. Principal of the Dominica Grammar School, Alicia Jaja, in her principal's report, listed numerous accomplishments of the school. The list included fencing the entire compound, the elimination of distracting physical education activities on the front court of the school, and the celebration of the school's 130th anniversary. She applauded the students who, against all odds, successfully completed their high school education. 92 of you have met the criteria for gradu graduation. I extend sincere congratulations to you. It is your moment to shine since you have worked diligently for the most part. You have grasped the opportunities which your country, your government, your school, and your parents have afforded you. You should be proud and you should applaud yourselves. The principal also encouraged students to use what they have learned to strengthen themselves as individuals while aiming to be the best in their chosen careers. Please be cognizant of the fact that this is the beginning of a journey for you. One of tertiary education, one of employment, and one of adulthood, and one of big headaches. The journey will of course present its fair share of headaches and frustrations as your journey at the Dominica Grammar School did. But I am confident that we have prepared you well. You are strong, resilient, innovative, and God-fearing. And you will persevere. We will follow your successes as the years go by. And as you move on to greater things, I urge you to be empathetic, humble, and above all, generous with your time. Never being too busy to assist someone in need. Be good to yourselves and put God first in your lives. 
In his feature address, President of the Dominica State College, Dr. Donald Peters, recommended that students embrace their identities while looking ahead towards the future. Be positive, never give up, because when one door closes, you have to try another one. Don't spend time talking about others, because you'll end up defeated and frustrated. You have to love yourself. Remember, the person you spend the most time with is yourself. And if you don't like yourself, nobody's going to like you. So love yourself. You are your most important person. Defeat, defeat negativity with positive, positive, positivity. When Dominicans tell you you can't do something, show them that you can. Our society is a strange society. We are wonderful people. But we have this notion that we are small, so we must remain small. Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to reach out. And um, some people will laugh at you, but you can get to where you want. Maybe years ago when I sat in your classroom at grammar school as a kind of semi-troublemaker, I was always in the black book for whatever reason. Actually, I felt I was a good student. The teachers just didn't like me. <laughs> I never believed I could, I was gonna stay at the grammar school. People thought I was crazy. I know exactly where I was going. I kept my eyes on the prize. And that is what I want to tell you, one of the messages I want to give you tonight. Keep your eyes on the prize. You have to know where you're going and always concentrate on that. 2013 valedictorian of the Dominica Grammar School, Chelsea Ann Martin, in her address, also congratulated her fellow graduates. She warned that potential is not enough to be successful. We must expect trials along the way as they are a part of life. The darkest hour is nearest the dawn, so when life seems dark, we must remember that relief is just around the corner. As one man puts it, life wouldn't be fun if it did not have its ups and downs. There was never a rose without its thorns. To my fellow graduates, continue to take education seriously. It plays a drastic role in our destinies. Always remember to put God first in all things because he can and he will help. We must learn to never give up, no matter how many times we have failed. Success does not happen overnight. We must work for what we want. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. My fellow graduates, I urge you to share your dreams and goals with someone you trust, or write it down where you will constantly be reminded of it. Be open to criticism, and when people say you can't, prove that you can. As our theme says, don't look back, you are not going that way. It is good to remember our past mistakes and the good things that happened in our lives, but we should not stay in the past. We must look to the future. We must keep in mind where we are going, not where we have already been. In the area of academics, Chelsea Ann Martin, Cleopatra Christopher, Rashida Dupi, and Dimitri Raphael graduated with honors and Andrea Fritz earned distinction. Numerous awards for vocational subjects were distributed. The Domlet Prize for Electricity to Yazim Dupi and the Samuel Henderson Prize for Technical Drawing to McNeil McIntyre, among others. Angel Joseph was student of the year. And that's the English segment of the news. Let's now join Mac for St. Louis for the Crayol Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Crayol. Non, moi, c'est Mac for St. Louis. Premièrement, le Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skirt a fait parole que le gouvernement Dominic bien satisfait et puis un meeting qui était en en France et puis agence France de développement pour financer le projet géothermique Dominic. Honorable Skirt ensemble et puis le ministre énergie Honorable Ribbon Blackmore, le chef de délégation Dominic qui a une discussion et puis la compagnie France électricité de France. Selon le Premier ministre Skirt, Electricity de France tape information qu'a consigné l'antiwe ayo invest ça c'est pour dépenser en les inches et puis yon sang avec 20 megawatts énergie qui Dominique exporte Martinique et puis la Guadeloupe officier électricité de France te fait parole que yo pas ni l'antiwe encore en projet là bagaille qui soupon au monde en effet, là, officier Dominique et puis conseil régional Martinique et puis Guadeloupe, te écrit gouvernement français qui a continué la situation là. Premier ministre Scarrett dit citoyen Martinique et puis Guadeloupe, 
tu toujours gardé le vent au rayon de sa bénéfice sur le projet Salam. Et des discussions et puis agences fondées de développement, ça allait autant bien. Le Premier ministre a aussi annoncé que l'agence française de développement, quand a financé en les énergies renouvelables pour la Dominique. Et aussi des discussions qui continuent comment les îles salaires qui manager. Français qui aussi pour énergie renouvelable, hors Dominique. À la nouvelle, avec un conseiller civique qui a fait attention par un officier carré comme Single Market and Economy et OECS Chain Consultation et puis officier ministre éducation mois prochain. Parole Salah, sorti de officier qui a coordonné l'activité carré comme Single Market and Economy en Dominique, M. Woodsworth Bettelme. Civic U, c'est Caribbean Vocational Qualification. Et bien, ça, il y a des gens qui ont Moun qui finit le travail, qui finit le study en université, yo ke tape un certificat, et ben certificat sa la, yo ke servi certificat sa la, gade pou travail en n'importe pays, CARICOM. Et ben, administratif process la, sa yo ka gade kon, kouman se moun ka la, sa la, sa, touve, um, qualification sa la. À présent, Dominique, en Dominique, nous n'avons pas un framework administratif là en place. Mm -hmm. Et bien, ça nous a travaillé avec le CSME Unit à présent pour mettre le framework ça là en place. C'est le monde qui s'est fini, uh, qui, qui s'est trouvé la qualification ça là, il y a aussi ça qui est affiché. Le monde qui est artisan, le monde qui est domestique, le monde qui a travaillé en case. C'est quand tu es là, les gens qui travaillent avec les chapatiers, c'est quand tu es là. Il n'y a pas de qualification. Nous avons regardé comment nous avons eu une qualification. Nous avons trouvé une certification pour travailler dans un pays comme CARICOM. Nous qui finissons l'université, nous avons tapé un skill certificate qui à présent, nous avons nous, nous déjà un skill certificate là, en Dominique. Mais si nous avons un skill certificate en Dominique, nous n'avons pas tout mettre en place pour, pour, pour faire ça arriver. Ministre de l'Agriculture, Jouen et puis Habitant, officier extension et plaisir d'autres qui ont engagé en agriculture pendant une consultation, on a discuté un projet régional qui a indiqué Habitant de manière pour la cultivation. Si le temps là, ça a créé des patterns. Organisation Kami, qui n'est pour faire et puis initiative salam, manager consultation là où là yo essayer de taper information aux habitants. Compar projet salam, habitants qui ont aussi information aux Africains concernés productivité, aux organisations là. Division agricole qui a fait parole qui est bien satisfait, mané habitants qui agit et puis information, yo qui a aussi voué. Et puis finalement, le département de gender Dominique a déjà fait une série de consultations qui concernent la gender policy pour la Dominique. Parole Sala, sorti au chef du département de gender en Dominique, Mme Rosie Brown. Nous avons fait une série de consultations. Et en quatre mois, nous avons allé à différentes sociétés. Nous allons à un comité là. Um, nous tenons nous avons eu district consultation aussi nous tenons consultation pour fifth base nous tenons consultation qui est tenu nom et femme ensemble nous tenons consultation avec permanent secretary nous tenons consultation hier yeah, by the way nous tenions une consultation avec même gouvernement avec oh, même parlement right avec yo te monde était bien happy nous était bien plaisir et sa contribution, um, sa yote ke vle, we konsin yo, comment gender issue, se ba, deba nom eve fam, um, ne, zanfan, fils, zanfan, rason, en société la yote ke le improve. So, sa, sa mache bien en de trois jours la. Nous teni workshop, la nou ka ba moun plein indication, plein information, information contre gender. Et aussi pour bayon moun, moun chance pour contribuer pour des questions là en l'agenda, mais aussi ça pour aller dans la police. Là. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Marc Fousson saint Au revoir. Time now for a government announcement. 
Residents of Pei Bush, Bel Manier, and Dodan, etc., are reminded that Thursday, June 27, 2013, is the deadline to settle your house rates. Payments can be made at the Village Council on Monday to Friday from 8 to 4 p.m. Please make every effort to comply and be part of your community's development. Up next, the tip of the day. Scary! Everything just shaking and shaking and making big, creaky noises. Earthquakes, big and small, take place in the Caribbean at least 10 times a year. The dishes rattling and falling and breaking, then Vonna started to scream. All I could think to do was shout, get outside, get out! Earthquakes, hazards, take control, reduce your loss. If an earthquake hits, what can you do? Get down, get under an item of furniture like a table. Hold on and stay there until the quake passes. Find out lots more about earthquakes and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from your national disaster office and Sidera. Today's tip of the day is about keeping your body hydrated. I'm on a drive to drinking more than the recommended eight glasses of water a day. You really should drink half of your body's weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you should consume at least 50 fluid ounces, which is equivalent, give or take, to a large bottle of Lubia water. Consuming the right amount of water can keep your heart healthy, your digestive system regular, your body toxin-free, and for us women, your skin looking absolutely radiant. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm. Friend us on our Facebook page and be sure to like our GIS Dominica fan page. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Pearl Fontaine. Thank you for watching.